Right, I'm going to show you what all this gear is here, but I reckon it's one of the best and easiest and cheapest mods you'll ever do to your caravan. And you know what it is? It's a clothesline that goes along your awning. Hey, the missus loves it, I love it. It's so awesome just for hanging up togs, towels, dirty gear, all that, and you don't have to set anything else up. It stays permanently fixed to your awning. Come in here. This is what you're gonna need. So, a quick trip to Bunnings, and you grab some galvanized wire rope, a couple of swages, uh, some stainless steel lock nuts, a little turnbuckle, uh, D-shackle, and some eye bolts. Okay, now all that was 28 bucks. Uh, you can do it cheaper if you wanna use galvanized stuff and whatnot, but I buy the, um, the stainless stuff because we're out in the weather all the time and I don't want it to go rust and look yucky. And the galvanized wire rope, that stuff has got a rubber coating on it. So it's the two mil stuff by 10 meters. You won't need 10 meters, you only use or however long your awning barrel is, but all that gear was 28 bucks, right? So I'll run through all this stuff. Um, that's the wire rope. You need the swages, you need the 3.2 mil ones. Because it's only two mil cable, but because it's got the PVC on it, it's um, it's a bit thicker. So you need the 3.2 mil swages. Uh, you need these ones here. The eye bolts are what hold it to your awning poles, right? So six mil eye bolts, and then you get a couple of lock nuts that hold them on the other side. A stainless D shackle and a stainless turnbuckle. And I'll show you how to put it all together. Tools you'll need, drill, a six mil drill bit, um, tape measure, so you can measure it and get it in the same spot on either end, and uh, a pair of pliers to crimp the swage, and a 10 mil socket to do them up. So, I'll show you where it goes. Come over here. Look at this over here. I've drilled one hole already so you can see where it is. Now, a couple of tips that you gotta watch for it is make sure you don't do it too far down your leg, because if you swing around up here, when your awning is rolled back up, you need your clothesline to clear the top of the door. Otherwise, when your awning's up, you won't be able to open and shut this door. So, we learned from experience, didn't we, dear? <laughs> anyway, so I find on our size, well, each van's different. But on this van, 85 mil down from the barrel to there, and then just drill a hole in the center, a six mil hole, come over here. Um, I've done the same with this one and marked it, so just from the barrel, down to here, 85 mil, little mark. So I'm gonna punch a hole in it now, and I'll show you how we do it. Done. Radio. Come back here, next one is the eye bolts. So, oh, all you do, just grab an eye bolt and a lock nut. See that? Mm -hmm. This is the best way I've found it. I've seen people pop rivet them on and use little saddle clamps and other sort of stuff, but I reckon this is the best way to make them last. All you do is put that through and then hold the nut on the other side. Oh, that. oh that's all right, ready? Um, and then that'll sit there like that. I'll just tighten it up. I like to leave them in line with the pole. So, there we go. Nip that up like that with a lock nut so it can't move. I'll show you the lock nut on the inside. In there, oh, can you see it just? Anyway, we'll go and do the same to the other side. Here, yeah, grab that. All right. Alrighty, so that's the eye bolts done. Now I need to make this the right length to put on that. So at one end, because um, I want to be able to take it off if ever need be, not so it's stuck on there, I'll put a D-shackle at one end, and then the other end has got this turnbuckle on it with a hook. So I'll get that rigged up and show you. So I'll just quickly show you what it's gonna look like when you swage it. So um, if you've got a vise or a proper set of crimps, even better, but I just use pliers like this just get stuck into them but um, what you do I'll do another one now you feed both bits of wire through like this 
To make the right end, you just feed them through to make a loop like this, and the D-shackle goes through one side, and um, obviously you, you feed it through the eye bolt to do on one end as well. But then all you do is grab your pliers and then crush it down four or five times on the ends and in the middle, and that's enough pressure to hold it. So when you do want a bit of tension on it with your turnbuckle, it's all good. So I'm gonna start with the first end for the turnbuckle. This one here, right? So all we do is put one swage on in that side, and then we feed the eye of the turnbuckle through. We loop around it and go back through the swage, only a little bit, and then you pull the long end like this, makes it nice and small and tight, like that. See that? And all I do is grab the pliers and then get one in the middle to start. You gotta put a fair bit of oomph into it. Then another one at the ends. <clears throat> another one right at the very end, squash him down. Be careful not to slip off and cut your cable. <laughs> Here we go, that's one end done. Good to go. Now, we'll hook it up and I'll walk this out and measure it so we can get the right length. Actually, I always, good tip, I'll show you. Extend your, your turnbuckle all the way out. So that means you get full travel on your adjustment. So when you do want to tighten it, you've actually got travel left in your turnbuckle. So we'll put that all the way out to the end. Hook him up on there, and then we walk our, oh gosh, look at that. <laughs> and then we walk this out while we untangle all the knots. I'm getting pretty good at this after fishing with the kids the last few weeks. Extend all this all the way out. There we go. Grab me pliers. And then, I'll just make it a bit rough. I'll extend it past here, grab your pliers, and chop him off. Righto. So, come back this way. Now we've got to make one that goes through the turnbuckle into another swage. So we get our swage, and this one's not so crucial. You don't have to feed it through anything. You just have to make a loop in the end, but it still needs to be the right length so you can actually get the adjustment on the turnbuckle. So we'll put this one up in here. Like so. Turn him up a bit. And then we pull this so it's fairly well tight. around there and we know that that's going to be where we need to crimp it and there's a little bit of slack in it but by the time we tweak up that turnbuckle we'll be sweet so take him off feed one end through the swage and then the other end through there pull him tight and feed it back through the swage and then slide that all the way up now that should That'll pretty much hold its own weight there like that. And then we can crimp that and we can cut it off to size. Oh, you could also take this off to do it too. I'm just gonna do it while it's up here. <clears throat> cut this one off nice and short, I'll move around here. There you go. Give it another couple of crimps just for good luck. And get on there. And there you go. That's our clothesline. Now come up here. How long's that taken me? Like 10 minutes and I've been showing you how to do it. Mm. All you need to do is come back this end and see we've got all this adjustment. Just hold the line with one hand and then screw him in. One, two, look, there you go, look how tight that is. 
Now you don't want to do it too tight because you don't want to pull the awning things together, but this will also get a bit of stretch and whatnot as time goes on and you start hanging a few things on it. But what do we need? I need to show you how to hook something up, mate. Hang on. I should have been more prepared. Look, here's a couple of beach towels. Now, when you come home and the kids are all dirty and sandy and whatnot, throw that straight on. It's also good if you don't have like a, a shade screen up all the time. It can act as a bit of shade or a bit of privacy. And um, we just use our normal clothesline pegs and peg them on. There you go. So good. And you can adjust it. So if you get like a heap of wet, heavy stuff on there, you can just um, tweak it up a bit more. To your desire. Look at that, hey? Now generally, we've got that two and a half kilo washing machine in here, the little mini. The whole load of that fits on the line. So you can do a load every day or every second day. And you don't even have to put any other clotheslines out. You can just whack it on there, so. There you go. That is the best, cheapest caravan mod that everyone should do. Mm -hmm.